Hey guys, this is Tashina from Logical Harmony and today I'm actually going to be talking about my custom Makeup Geek eyeshadow palette. A couple weeks ago I filmed the holiday gift guide and one of the things that I talked about in there was how Makeup Geek, which is a cruelty free brand with loads of vegan options, how they sell single shadow pans and how creating a custom palette is a really great gift idea for someone else or for yourself. And I did show this palette in that video and quite a few people asked me to talk about the shades that were in here and to show swatches of them. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Of course, because this is Logical Harmony, all the shades in this palette are vegan. I have a full list of all the vegan products from Makeup Geek on Logical Harmony, so I'll make sure to link to that post down below so you guys can go check that out. I'm just gonna show you the shades. I'm gonna start here with the lightest one and I'm gonna move in that direction and end up here with the foiled shadows. And what I'm gonna do is just swatch them on my arm and then I will link to all of the individual product pages for these shades down below so you guys can go check them out on the Makeup Geek site and find out more information. And today I'm actually going to be swatching these with a brush. This is the e.l.f. Contour Brush. And I like to swatch with a brush because I think it gives you guys a realistic picture of what the shadows will look like once you apply them. That said, I'm not using like foundation or a primer or anything on my arm, it's just the shadow on its own on my skin. I feel like when you swatch with your fingertips, there's so much more color pigment that gets picked up that you might not see if you were putting it on yourself. This first shade is called Shimma Shimma, and Shimma Shimma is what I use a lot to highlight on my brow bone or on the inner corner of my eye. This next shade is called Cinderella, and this is a warmer, like, pink toned highlight, I guess you could say. I honestly don't use this shade a whole lot, but I think it's really, really pretty. It's a little too dark for me to like as a highlight, but it's too light for me to want as a lid color. But I think on the right person, this shade would be really pretty. And this next shade is one that I use all the time. It's pretty rare for me to actually apply any eyeshadow without using this as the base, and this is Peach Smoothie. Peach Smoothie is a gorgeous, you know, orange toned matte shade. It's on the warm side, which I love, and it's just such a good shade to apply. I apply it all over my lid and I use it to blend out. So that is Peach Smoothie. This next shade is called Creme Brulee, and this is a shade I frequently use in my crease and right above my crease. It's just a really pretty warm brown. It's a little bit darker than Peach Smoothie, but not a whole lot darker. And this next shade is another one of my favorites. This one is called Latte, and I wear this a lot in my actual crease, more towards the outer V. And again, this is another matte brown, a warm toned brown, but I just, I think it's so pretty. And that is Latte. This next shade is a really rich, warm brown. I wear this a lot in my outer V. I also blend it with Latte and wear it underneath my eyes, and this is Cocoa Bear. I think Cocoa Bear is one of their most talked about shades. I feel like I see people use Cocoa Bear all the time, but it's because it's freaking gorgeous. So that is Cocoa Bear. This next shade is another shimmery one that, again, I don't wear a whole lot, but I think it's really pretty. It's called Roulette. And I actually wore this, I think I was wearing it in the gift guide video with Coco Bear. I wore this all over my lid because I think in the right occasion, this is a very gorgeous shade. It's like a very rich, warm copper shade, reddish copper probably. That is Roulette. I'm running out of room here, but I only have three more shades to show you. And these are all foiled shadows. So if you have not tried the foiled shadows from Makeup Geek, they are very, very pigmented, incredibly sparkly, but I freaking love them. This first one is called Magic Act, and it is a bright, sparkly gold. Right there, that's Magic Act. I don't know if you guys can even see that in this light. I'll do a close-up swatch after. I don't wear this one that much either because I think it's really pretty. I just tend to gravitate towards two other shades that I'm gonna show you now. This first one is called In the Spotlight and this is a very metallic peach shade. I wear this a lot actually as a highlight too, usually just on my inner corner and going a little bit up into, onto my lid. So right there is In the Spotlight. And the last shade is called Grandstand. It's probably one of my favorite Makeup Geek shadows that exists. I just think it's gorgeous. It is a warm rose gold. Right there. And that is Grandstand. Stand. 
this palette contains shades that I wear pretty much every single day. A lot of the time when you guys see me on camera, this is what I'm wearing or when you see me on Instagram. And what I tend to wear is um, peach smoothie all over the lid and blend it up in towards my eyebrow. Creme brulee right above my crease and blend it down into my crease. Latte in the outer crease. Cocoa bear on the outer V and then cocoa bear and latte blended together underneath my eyes. And then days like today where it's very metallic, that is in the spotlight just on the inner corner and grandstand over I'd say like half my lid, just the inner half. That's pretty much like my go-to shadow look when I want something that isn't matte but that I know it's gonna be flattering and work well in a lot of different situations. So these are the shades in my custom Makeup Geek shadow palette. Like I said, I will link to all of them down below. If you guys have a favorite or if there's one that you think I need to get, please let me know. I love Makeup Geek, they are cruelty free. They have so many vegan options and I love trying out new products from them. So definitely let me know what your favorites are. For more updates on cruelty free vegan beauty and lifestyle, make sure you subscribe to logicalharmony.net and you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at logicalharmony. Have a good day.